Hi guys, it's Selena from Such a Branch again, and I'm back with my post vlog for Terra Unit 6, Lesson 3 on Global Warming. So if you remember, for this project, students had to come up with a plan to transform their community into a green one and deliver a presentation on it. One of the parts that went well was in the first part of the ID8, where the students were supposed to discuss about how their community contributes to global warming and what can be done to improve it. Instead of letting the students do the discussion independently or in groups, we decided to do this as a class. And this did save a lot of time and effort for the students. And also, when the students took notes on the contents of the discussion as a class, it allowed them to look back on those notes to help them generate further ideas when they were coming up with their own projects. On the other hand, one of the things that could be improved in the future was in the second part of the IDA. Although I had explained the concept of a policy and a development plan with examples that were on the slides as well as my own, the students, some of the students still didn't understand and they had to ask continuously during the actual work time. I think this could be resolved in the future by spending more time explaining these concepts and maybe using more student relevant examples to make sure that everybody is on the same page before moving on to the next part. Another thing that went well was that the students' presentations were having more and more details than usual. And this was accomplished by me going around and making sure that all the groups were having enough examples, explanations, and details. Also, if one student asked me if one detail was enough, I would go the next step further and ask them to answer the WH questions and see what can be improved. So this includes questions like why or how or what. So pressing the students for more details proved to be very successful and it allowed the students to stay on task. Another thing that could be improved on in the future is that helping the students use the expressions and sentences given on the tab as well as helping them with the introductions and conclusions saved a lot of time and effort for them. However, it seemed like some students were too fixated on the reading and usage of those sentences rather than really understanding the sentences and delivering them. So I think this could be resolved in the future by maybe allowing the students some extra time to come up with their own introductions and conclusions and those expressions. This would ensure that they're actually understanding what they're saying and also build some skills that are needed for the next levels like bridge and par. Of course, this would only work in the later weeks of class rather than the first weeks. Saving the best part for last, one of the best things about this week's project was that I could really see that the students were improving in their presentation skills. So I told the students to really, really try and present the material rather than just read it. And many students were actually starting to say some things that were not on the actual slides. And this was amazing since the students were not reading anymore but actually presenting and talking to the class. And I could really see that they were improving at the speed and quality of making their PowerPoint slides and the posters as well. So it's great to see that in week 13, those students have improved so much since their first weeks. So it looks like this could be the last post vlog for this term. So have a great rest of week 13 and have a great start to next term. See you guys next time.